These are some same sized spheres packed closely in two dimensions. As you can see that they acquire a very beautiful hexagonal arrangement and each sphere is surrounded by six spheres in its neighborhood. What if we want to extend this kind of close packing to three dimensions? We can put a second layer on top of it. Let's see what happens if we put it like this. We are putting the second layer exactly on top of the first layer. Something like this. This has a uh, two major problems with this kind of an arrangement. First one is that it's not going to be very stable because the spheres on the top of the bottom layer will not be that stable. And the second thing is that it will not maximize the volume efficiency. You can feel it that this is unstable. So we will have to try a different kind of a configuration. Next time we will put the second layer in between the, the triangular voids here. Let's see what happens then. If we put the second layer like this, then we will have a stable configuration and uh, we will maximize the volume efficiency also. In this video, I am not going to deal with calculations, but this can be proved very easily. You can see that uh, we are using that. Uh, um, the triangular voids between three red spheres and we are putting the blue spheres on those voids. This is a stable configuration. Now if we have to put the third layer on top of these two second layers, on top of the second layer, we will have two options. Let me show you which ones. In the first option, we are going to use these points and we are going to build the third layer in such a way that it's different from the first two layers. This way, we have generated a lattice the third layer is different from the first two layers, as you can see. And uh, this is a very regular kind of arrangement. If you can see the red sphere, this one, and then this blue sphere on top of that, and then this green sphere, they are shifting in a regular way. This will generate a lattice. By lattice, I mean an arrangement in which neighborhood of all the atoms of all these spheres will be the same also in directional ways i will explain it this is a lattice this kind of a solution this kind of an arrangement is called cubic close packing and it's identical to the fcc lattice one of the 14 brevice lattices why do i emphasize that this is a lattice so let's focus on one of the blue spheres in the middle layer 
I will mark it black. Now let me remove the green spheres on the top layer. As you can see that this uh, black sphere is surrounded by six spheres in its neighborhood in the same layer, these six ones. Well, that will be the case always for any sphere in any layer. In its own layer, it will be surrounded by six spheres around it. What I am interested in, its neighborhood in the below layer and, the, in, and in the layer above it. So here you can see that the black sphere is surrounded by these red spheres in the layer of it, which are making a downward triangle, equilateral triangle, downward equilateral triangle. Now I will bring the topmost layer and see what kind of neighborhood this black sphere has with the topmost layer. Now you can see that the green spheres, these three green spheres are in the neighborhood of that black sphere we are focusing on and it's making an upward triangle, upward triangle, this upward arrow. So in the layer below it, there is a downward triangle neighborhood and in the layer above it, there is an upward triangle kind of a neighborhood. In its own layer, it's, it has a hexagonal neighborhood. If it is a lattice, any, any atom, any sphere will have the same kind of neighborhood. Let's check with a different blue sphere. Now let's focus on this sphere. This black sphere, as you can extrapolate, will be surrounded by six blue spheres in its own layer. In the layer below it, you can see these red spheres surrounding it and uh, they are making a downward triangle, downward triangle neighborhood. What happens if we put the spheres on the layer above it? You can extrapolate from these two green spheres that the neighborhood is making a, an upward triangular kind of arrangement. So we have checked with the, the two blue spheres. We can check with some other sphere in other neighborhood, in other layer. Let's try with a, a green sphere in the upper layer. Let's mark this green sphere black and focus on it. We can extrapolate that the green spheres on the same layer will make a regular hexagon kind of arrangement. And these blue spheres, this one, this one, and the one here, they are making a downward triangle. And I don't have to make another layer on top of it. You can extrapolate you can understand that these red spheres which are in the bottom layer, when I make another layer shifting like this, I will get a red kind of a layer. And these red spheres on the bottom layer, you can imagine them coming up and making a upward triangle kind of an arrangement. This I think is enough to prove that this is a lattice. Now let's think about another kind of a 3D close packing in which we will have the third layer same as the first layer. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Let's first remove the third layer. And let's now bring the third layer, which is exactly like the first layer. 
this will be a b a b kind of a packing this is called hexagonal close packing this let's go to the top view and let's talk about its neighborhood the hcp is not a lattice because in a lattice the neighborhood of all the atoms should be same of all these spheres i keep on saying atoms in place of spheres um, because this is being taught mostly in a solid state chapter where we are dealing with atoms these spheres are uh, a representation of atoms so let's talk about the neighborhood so we are first going to concentrate on on, um, on a blue sphere in the middle layer and see what its neighborhood looks like let's pick this one and mark it black and uh, let's bring back these spheres so as you can see this black sphere which was a blue sphere before is surrounded in its layer by six blue spheres and either whether you think of the top layer or the bottom layer with respect to this black sphere this time we have a downward triangle kind of a neighborhood with respect to both the, the its upper layer and the lower layer let's try to think about some other atom and let's focus on this uh, this one so we have chosen the atom in the topmost layer and we can see that in its own layer it's surrounded by six spheres in a hexagonal arrangement but in the layer below it in which blue spheres this side you get an upward triangle kind of a neighborhood and you can understand that in the layer above it it will also be same as the as the blue layer you will again get an upward triangle or kind of a neighborhood okay so if we were if we were thinking about that blue atom in the middle layer You can see that its neighborhood was a downward triangle in the layer above it and below it so this is why one can say that hcp is not a lattice 